Hey, Craig here. In a recent video, I had made this uh, tool for tapping uh, to help my brother out for like a, a one inch tap. Um, kind of just went in there and helped uh, align the tap on the mill. After I had posted a, a video about that, I had gotten a comment from, from Daniel. I think his uh, YouTube channel is uh, Erstwhile. I'll leave a card up here somewhere showing his uh, channel in the comment. But he had mentioned that uh, there's there's an, an easier way to do that and actually make a, a tool for it. And uh, it's basically a spring-loaded tap center. And, uh, you know, I didn't even need, noticed this before. You know, I'm, I'm an electrician by trade, so, you know, I didn't really have a lot of formal training or anything. Never worked in a shop or anything. Um, but I guess, see, there's a, there's actually a hole in the back of the tap and I guess that's for this spring-loaded tool it just goes in right there uh, you know normally if you have like a small tap they have this kind of uh, tap holder here and there's actually a, a piece that goes on I'll demonstrate this later when I get into uh, showing this thing off but you know this is the same thing this goes in here like this and that helps you center it on the mill you know to keep this tap going straight up and down you know so so yeah I got this on uh, uh, I forget it was Amazon or eBay it was like eight bucks or something which uh, nine bucks was shipping so all right so I'm gonna go ahead and give this a try I'll uh, I'll try using um, this method and this method and see show you how these things work okay so I'm gonna be doing a uh, I'm gonna be tapping a 3 8 hole uh, so I'm gonna start off with a 5 16 uh, drill bit Okay, so now on the first one, I'm going to use uh, this tool here. Um, I've got the, the mill directly over the hole, so raise it up a little more here to get it in there. All right, raise it so you can see the whole thing here. And I'm going to go ahead and lower it down. Guiding the tip of the tap into the hole. Turn this, lower a little more. This is a 3 16 mild steel here, by the way. Alright, that should be good there. And pull the head up. Worked out pretty good. Get my air compressor off. All right, I'll get set up for the uh, the next one. Uh, trying out the uh, the spring tap guide. Okay, so to use this spring-loaded uh, centering uh, tap centering device here, I'm just going to go ahead and stick it in. The one I got is a uh, half inch so I'm just gonna go ahead and stick it in a half inch end mill holder alright that's what it looks like there it's uh... 
the spring is pretty is pretty tight. It's kind of hard to push like that. But here you can spring hear the spring there. So okay, so I've never used one of these things before here, but I've uh, I've got the tool loaded up in here. I've got uh, some tapping paste on the tap. Since I don't have the the handle for the uh, the normal tap, I'm just going to use a crescent wrench here, and uh, I guess it just gets put on there like that, and I guess you can just kind of put it on the hole like that. Put it put it in the hole. And then bring the spring down on it, center it there, and then just push down on the spring, and then uh, see what happens here. Now this is just a three-eighths tap, but you know normally maybe you'd be using a different size tap, a bigger tap or something, but... This is a real cheap crescent wrench here. If I had a shorter one, I can go all the way around, but <clears throat> it's the baffle, so. The baffles of the Tormach. Well, you know, the nice thing about this is you can get a lot more leverage on it because you can put a lot bigger tool on it, you know? When you're just using one of these things, you just got this tiny little handle. I suppose you could put a little cheater bar on it, but... My, uh, my spring is already unsprung here. But, uh, I'm already going straight, so I guess I don't really need to worry about that. Let me uh, back this out. Well, I do have a tiny little wrench that kind of fits it. That's a lot easier. Okay, cool. All right, well that worked out. I guess with the proper tool for turning the tap, it'd certainly be a lot easier. All right, well that worked out pretty good. Uh, thank you, Daniel, for your wisdom. Uh, if anybody else has any uh, other ideas of different ways you can uh, tap manually on the mill, you know, where the mill aligns it, uh, feel free to leave a, a comment down below. And uh, I guess that's it. Alright, well if you like this video I'd uh, appreciate the thumbs up. Uh, if you have any comments or suggestions feel free to leave them down below. Uh, if you'd like to subscribe there should be a subscribe button over here. Um, also leave a link to um, Daniel's channel over here. I think he's working on a, a bridge port. And uh, thanks for watching.